Hey y'all, welcome to Bound Together. Week two, we're continuing our conversation about the book of Acts and community. And this week specifically, we're going to be talking about how true community just cannot happen without the Holy Spirit. And so if you've been a part of any community, you know how much fun it can be. But also, if you've been a part of a true community, you know that it is difficult sometimes because we are all bringing sin to the table. And so this week, we're going to be talking about how God is so kind. And when we bring our sin into things, he has a plan to help us. And so this week we're going to be talking about how the Holy Spirit does a lot of things, but one of those being to help us live in community with one another. We're going to be looking at two verses, Acts 1-8 and the giving of the Holy Spirit to Christ's followers, and also Acts 2, 42 through 47, the model of the early church really coming together and thriving because they worshiped together, they were giving, and they grew with one another and sharpened each other in their faith. And so we are pretty sure that that was only possible because of the Holy Spirit at work bringing about unity and fruit in the lives of each of those Christ followers. And also, if you notice, it sounds nothing like what the world says community should look like and does look like. And so this week, we're going to make this applicable for our 5th through 8th graders. We're going to talk about how your small group can grow together as a true community. And we're going to be discussing the sin that each of us bring to the table in our groups, but also how the Spirit is leading your group to worship together, to be giving with one another, and to grow together. And so we encourage you to keep developing that safe, honest culture of your group, but also encourage your students to be thinking critically about how you guys can come together in those three areas and really be a true community. And so if you have any questions, always let us know, reach out to any of your ministers. And then also we think that you should come up with a group challenge or commitment and make this really fun of how can you guys really practically live out those three things of worshiping, giving, and growing together. And so we are rooting for you and we're so excited to see what happens this week in your group.